Thank you, Mr. President. I congratulate uh, Republic of Korea for uh, the presidency of the month, June, and welcome this initiative of an open debate on addressing the evolving threats in cyberspace. I also thank Secretary General and representatives of the civil society for their insights. Today's world is of a digital age. Digital transformation has transcended all conventional geographical, political, and economic boundaries. With the rapid advancements and adoption of new and emerging technologies, such as artificial intelligence, our lives have become increasingly intertwined with the digital realm. In this interconnected world, from personal communication to critical infrastructure, the, resilient, uh, the reliance on uh, cyberspace is profound. The digital transformation has also exposed us to a myriad of uh, cyber threats, cyber attacks against critical infrastructure, information, and financial systems, and government networks are increasing in frequency and sophistication. The cryptocurrency heist, data hijacking, deep fakes, misinformation, and incitements are commonplace now. Further, the potential of artificial intelligence to add scope and scale to cyber attacks is also notable. The integrity and security of ICT products, which form the building blocks of cyberspace, are being compromised. These acts are committed by both state-sponsored and non-state actors, as well as transnational crime networks. Such nefarious acts undermine trust and confidence in global ICT supply chains, compromise security, and create potential flashpoints between states. According to World Bank estimates, cyber attacks could have caused losses of around $5.2 trillion to the world during 2019 and 2023. Terrorists also are also finding new ways, to, new ways through cyberspace to perpetrate violence, radicalize youth, recruitment, training, and raise financial resources. New methods in the form of virtual assets and cryptocurrency have, are becoming a norm in financial transactions by terrorists. Terrorism is exploiting new channels and new funding methods from the cyber world, making it a critical issue for the security and prosperity of every nation. India has been a victim of terrorism for several decades, and we are cognizant of the serious nature of the cyber terrorism challenge. In this context, let me highlight four points. The threats in cyberspace have the potential not only to, not only to jeopardize national security, but also to undermine the very fabric of global stability and cooperation. No single country or organization can combat cyber threats alone. It requires a united front. There is a growing need for international instruments to address threats from cyberspace. Current international law is not well positioned to support responses to cyber attacks. Cyber attacks against critical infrastructure, information, and financial systems and government networks should be treated as terror attacks. The applicability of existing anti-terrorism treaties to the cyber domain should be considered. The international community should achieve uniformity in counterterrorism crime laws. Global cooperation in this area will help in harmonizing cybersecurity benchmarks, best practices, and regulations. India has been participating in UN-mandated cyber processes and consultations that support a global, inclusive, and transparent intergovernmental participation with the objective of realizing a safe and secure cyberspace. We believe a multi-stakeholder collaboration is essential to be informed of and understand the emerging threats in cyberspace. Mr. President, in concluding, India is among the world leaders in advancing digital technology, connectivity, and resilience. India is committed to an open, secure, free, accessible, and stable cyberspace environment. India will continue to work with the global community to tackle cyber threats and ensure that digital revolution continues to benefit humanity without compromising our collective well-being and stability. Thank you.